Welcome back. So in this section, I will be giving you the introduction for a big project that I am going to undertake. It is about building and consuming an ASP.NET Core Web API using ADO.NET and we will consume by ASP.NET Core MVC. So here is the final running project. Now this project on the left hand side, I have actually uh, resized the browser so that it could be accommodated in one screen. So this is actually, these are two projects. This is an MVC client to a web API. So when the API runs and um, you browse to the index and it says that you have to make sure that your API project is running and then click here. So when you click here, the customer page loads and you can add a customer and get a customer by ID so and you can go to the order page. So this is actually a two table relational database. Now this project is made without using entity framework but I have used stored procedure with ADO.NET okay, for betterment of performance and also for letting the students know that you know we could use the stored procedure which is actually a more um, performance wise better and efficient way than to actually use uh, entity framework which is much easier to use which has got its own benefit but you know I am sticking to the ADO.NET for this entire project. So if I click on add customer I can create a new customer let's say and an address let us pick up one of these and so there is a validation so if I just write for this email it will say that this field email must match the regular expression so this is client side validation if I click tab away um, I can add a customer basically if any of these fields is empty then it will immediately give you with a client side form validation please put a name okay so let's put Kaushik as the name and then you tab away then it is this um, validation error is gone so this is client side validation and when you click on add customer when it is submitting to the server it is checking for the server model validation okay so click on add customer so immediately the customer appears in a different form below and you could clear the form you could go back to the customer and you can get a customer say get customer by id basically so id is 8 if the customer is existing it will get the customer okay so we'll do all that in the actual project and if you go back and look to the order page and if you wish to get an order or add order if you wish to get an order say with order id 39 you'll get that order with the order id 39 and the customer id 19 so back to the order page and if you wish to add an order now let me just arbitrarily assign a customer id 1 i am not sure whether that customer exists with that id 1 or not and let's pick up one of these i'm just testing to let you uh, know about a feature in this application if i click on add order you'd expect to have an order added however nothing gets added unlike the customer so if you go back whether you clear the form or not if you go back you can see that this order with the customer id one is not here so what happened actually now i have actually handled a web api site error with a try catch block try catch blocks but since i could not show the same error on the client that is the mvc consuming that web api i have alternately 
taken care to log that error so that uh, whenever something happens which is not expected you can check the log file so here is the log file that is in the ctemp folder so this has been configured in app settings.json file which i will show you later so this is the log file which actually describes what the error is so you can see that this is a system.data.sql client exception the insert statement conflicted with the foreign key constraint fk order customer now i will uh, describe in detail about this error later but this was an introduction lecture where i wish to introduce about the project now so in this project we have seen that this is this will be consisting of a series of lectures which will walk you through the process of building a solution that contains two projects one web api using asp.net code that doesn't use entity framework code so instead we will be using adio.net and sql server for database operations and an mvc client application using asp.net core that consumes the web api and it shows one to many relationship using customer order tables for the database and it demonstrates the client and server side form validation and finally use of serilog which is a third party nuget package for logging errors on the web api so happy programming See you.